before we go to Ezekiel and read it, go to Ezekiel 37, I received a telephone call from one of our elders in Tampa, Florida. And he said he was on the bus this morning. A white man asked for a sheet of our literature titled, Our Savior Yahweh is Here. After reading the title, he responded out loud, He's black, isn't he? And Elder Heman asked the white male, How do you know? The white man said, I just know. So Elder Heman said to him, Then tell everyone on this bus. And the white man stood up on the bus and told a packed bus that Yahweh was black, and the white Gentiles had made him to be white. <laughs> Praise Yahweh. And the bus was not only black, it had white people on it. And it said the white people hung their heads. They didn't say a word. The white man then asked Elder Heman for a copy of our Bible. And he gave Elder Heman a blank check to cover the cost of the Bible. Said take out tithes and an offering for whatever amount you choose. Make the check. He left his name, his number, and his address and said, I would like to have it when the check clears. <laughs> said he was well dressed in a three-piece suit, business type. Said he was from Pennsylvania and that he was of Irish descent. Living testimony. Praise God. White people testify like this all over America every day now. Only in Yahweh. Only in Yahweh. Ezekiel 37, verse 25. Read. And they shall dwell in the land. Who is they? The so-called black man of America might dwell in the land. What land? Read it. And I have given unto Jacob my servant, wherein your fathers have dwelt, and they shall dwell therein, even they and their children, and their children's children forever. And my servant David shall be their prince forever. See, the, you have to understand that the white man substituted David for the name Yahweh ben Yahweh. He wouldn't be a devil if he didn't do that. That's his job to do that. That means that your mind would be geared back into the past thinking that King David of Israel, who lived several thousand years ago, is somehow going to get up out of the ground come here and rule and nothing could be further from the truth. Yahweh didn't say no such thing. He told us how David would rule forever. S Psalms what? Psalms 132, 11. Psalms 132, 11. Psalms 132, verse 11, read. The Lord Yahweh has sworn in truth unto David. He will not turn from it. Of the fruit of thy body will I set upon thy throne. Do you see how it is? Read it in verse 12, read. If thy children will keep my covenant and my testimony, that I shall teach them, that children shall also sit upon thy throne forevermore. You got the picture? It's through the seed of David. I'm the seed of David. I'm the root and the offspring of David. The bright and the morning star. 
Revelation 22, 16. I am. Go testify in your churches. Go testify among your religious buildings. Revelation 22, 16. Read. I, Yahweh, being Yahweh, have sent mine angel to testify unto you these things in the churches. I am the root and the offspring of David and the bright and morning star. See, this was after the man you thought was Jesus lived. Yeah. Revelation just sent him. So it couldn't have been talking about him 1900 years ago. I am is Revelation is the book of prophecy, things to come. So somebody had to come after him to say this. I'm the one. I'm the root and the offspring of David. Nobody on earth can say that in truth but me. And I am the bright and the morning star. I'm that too. I'm the sun, the moon, and the stars. I'm all of it. Now, you were wondering about white people, those who call themselves Jews and Revelation 3.9, the Israelis who are over in our land today, these Gentiles. See, I'm a master of the book from Genesis to Revelation. I ate it. When I digested it, it was sweet to my system. Revelation 3.9, read. Behold. I will make them of the synagogues of Satan, which say they are Jews, and are not, but do lie. Behold, I will make them to come and worship before thy feet, and to know that I have loved thee. See what they have to do for us? Worship where? At our feet. That's going to bruise a lot of Jew ego, isn't it? That means that the ones over in our homeland claiming to be us, they're really Esau. They are brother, all right, but they hate us with a perpetual hatred. Ezekiel 35, 5. They hate us with a perpetual hatred. They can't help themselves. They sold us their birthright, and they're trying to take it back, but see, that can't happen. Read. Because thou hast had a perpetual hatred and hast shed the blood of the children of Israel. To strap TNT around themselves and in trucks, find 200 devils to drive up in the and blow them up. The born uh, sacrificed their life on the altar of justice for Yahweh. They're doing that for us. Well, you expect the devil to tell you why they're doing it? They hate the devil. But they were not allowed. See, Muhammad was not allowed to kill the devil. That's why he grieved himself to death 1,400 years ago. He grieved himself to death because he found out he was not allowed to wipe the devil off the planet Earth. He had the army, the power, and the knowledge to kill the beast off the planet. So all he, was, he was just allowed to march through the sections of the world then and just conquer it under Islam. That, but that was as far as he could go, just conquer but he had to let him live. He had to wait for the day. I'm the one to announce judgment on the, on the earth and the entire earth to bring an end to all the kingdoms of the Gentiles. That's my job. They have to wait on orders from me, Yahweh. Have to wait. I want you to know they don't have long to wait. My people are waking up to Yahweh. And faster you come to Yahweh, that's going to spell the end. Praise God. The only thing that's, that's keeping the devil alive and ruling now is your ignorance. My people's ignorance. But see, I'm changing that fast. I speak to five million every month. Five million read what I have to tell them from Yahweh every month.
Yahweh is the most powerful voice in the world today. You think about it. Khomeini has a whole nation. Just millions of, of those the white men call fanatics, ready to kill the devil. Why don't they? See? Why haven't they just wiped the devil out? He's the most evil, wicked heathen ever been on the planet. How many are tired of the devil? You tired of him? If you're not tired of the devil, you're insane. Totally out of your mind. I'm here to restore your sanity. You want to know why the devil is so busy trying to set up a station off the planet Earth? Job 18, 18. Let's go find out why he's looking, trying to set up a colony on the moon somewhere. <laughs> Job 18, 18. Let's see why. Don't, don't marvel at him going up there. I'm going to bring him down into the pits of hell anyway. Job 18, 18. Read. He shall be driven from light into darkness and chased out of the world. And if you have sympathy for him, you must be killed with him. Isaiah 13, 15. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. You better not sympathize with the devil. Oh, don't kill him. Don't, don't kill him. Then you should die right there. That's how you get rid of Uncle Tom. All you Toms. You have a chance to change, Tom. If you don't change, Tom, then read your destiny. Isaiah 13, what? 15, read. Everyone that is found shall be thrust through, and everyone that is joined unto them shall fall by the sword. You got it? You better unjoin yourself. You better get out the integrated neighborhood and come on back to the ghetto. See, when the race war break out, guess who the first niggas gonna die? Those in the white neighborhood. You an idiot to live where white folk live. They told you with Reagan they don't like you. They all voted for Reagan. There's no need of going up there where Mondale was. He joined on the Reagan. <laughs> You don't have civil rights now, you better come to Yahweh. Fortunately for the white man, we don't want in, we want out. We don't care about ruling in America. We don't want to rule in America. We want out of America. Go home to our own land, because we're going to rule the whole world from right where we are. I have the formula on exactly how we ought to do the whole planet. It's all in the scriptures. Hmm? Yahweh told us, to go to Proverbs 6, 6 and 7. I'm going to, I'll tell you up front. Proverbs 6, 6 and 7. I'll give you some knowledge I haven't laid on you direct yet. Read. Go to the end, thou sluggard. Consider her ways and be wise. All right, Yahweh said, go to the ant, study the ant, and be wise. When you study the ant, you'll find the only fella that's over the whole planet Earth is the ant. He just keeps on multiplying. Now turn to Genesis 128. <laughs> Yahweh told us what to do. No birth control here. No, no. Is it 128? Read. And Yahweh blessed them. And Yahweh said unto them, Be fruitful and multiply, 
and replenish the earth and subdue it. And do what? Subdue it. And do what? Subdue it. Subdue it. We ought to multiply just like the ant does. Study the ant. We'll move right on in among a nation. This is nice and friendly like a certain ants do. And when you look around, won't be nobody in the ant hill but us. Oh, I got the formula. We're going to rule the planet. And I'll tell you up front. It's in the book. We ought to outpopulate everybody. That's why Yahweh let us have all the wives we can impregnate. Oh, yeah. We can't sit around waiting on one woman to get back together. One woman can't have all the babies we got to produce. Right, brothers? We got too much stuff for one woman to handle it all. <laughs> one woman can't possibly handle what we have. It takes a lot of them to handle them. We got too much seed. Can't be waiting no two years on some woman to get ready. We ready all the time. <laughs> have babies. No such thing as birth control. It's an honor to carry this king's seed. Carry Yahweh's seed. Get pregnant as fast as you can get pregnant. When we find a brother that can produce a baby, we make sure he can get some extra wives, huh? I know brothers like that. Don't you like that? Yeah, you like that. I know y'all like that. See, Yahweh makes that all right. That's our law. My people live it anyway. He lied to me. I got one wife. You a lie. You got a bunch of women on this. You got a bunch of women. You run yourself crazy all over town trying to get to them. <laughs> trying to be cool like you have one. You lying. Even your wife know you lying. That's why you come home sometime and play tired. You know how you do that. <laughs> It's in your nature to be like that. And y'all, we prepare our women to accept the law. That's just the law. That's all to that. She don't like the law, she got to go to hell. That's all. It's no, that's just the way it is. It's the law of Yahweh and that's it. How many love the law? All right then. So you can't just love the sex part. Huh? Oh no, brother. See, you can't come here and just love the sex part. Oh no, you have to love all the law. <laughs> Glory to Yahweh. No birth control pills. No abortions. Yahweh said, be fruitful and multiply. Have babies. Have them. It's an honor to have a baby. Glory to Yahweh. Look who teaches you birth control. The devil, didn't he? Look who manufactures birth control pills. The devil. Look who it is that has mastered cutting your tubes and cutting out your Womb, giving you a hysterectomy. Who is it? And he's taking, he's giving his woman fertility pills. She's having babies like, a, like puppies. Why? Trying to cut off the black man's fertility and then out produce you. That's the game. Now they're arguing all over the country, marching and demonstrating and blowing up birth control clinics. It was designed to kill off you and me trying to stop me from being born. Now they found out I'm here. Now they're trying to demonstrate and tell their women, don't abort. See, it's too late. I'm already here. The story about trying to kill the male child, Moses, 
That was a sign. That was only a sign of today. So you brothers that are new and visiting, you spread the word. Don't let your woman kill your baby. You're crazy. If you can't take care of your kid, bring them to me. I'll take care of them. Bring all the children that you can't take care of. Just have them and bring them to me. Give them to me. I'll show you how to take care of them. Oh, I mean that. Praise y'all. Let your babies live. <laughs>